guys, Josh with Hess Hogs 4, and today we're going to look at one of my favorite things to make. It's really simple. It's a bacon wrapped smoked pork tenderloin. And the first thing we do after we get our bacon opened up and come a little bit closer is we want to trim the fat right off of this pork tenderloin. Uh, it's a great cut of meat. I buy these at Walmart. They're not very expensive. But you want to make sure to get the fat right off of it. A little silver vein that's on there. It doesn't take too long, but it is important. Get it cut off of there. That helps with a nice sharp knife. Let me go through and get this trimmed up. You can see right over here, I've got one that I've already got done. Got it wrapped, seasoned, and ready to go. I think it's important that we show the time it takes getting these things trimmed up. Don't want to rush this and if you if you miss a couple pieces it's not the end of the world it just helps helps get them all off all right we are about about there if you guys been doing any barbecuing and smoking anything lately any Anything you've done, you've had some success with, or maybe not some success with, make sure you leave a comment in there. I'd be happy to reply, or maybe share a best practice, or maybe barbecue with Mitch for you. So again, we're just going all the way through. We're gonna get all the, get the fat off of it. Again, doesn't take too long, but it's well worth the time. Now we've gone through and we've got that pretty well trimmed up. There's a couple pieces in there. And again, you can keep trimming if you want. Throw this away real quick. Next step we're going to do after we've trimmed it is we are going to make a bacon weave. Now when you're making a bacon weave, it is very simple. All you need to do is get yourself some thin cut bacon. Get yourself a little cutting board. You're going to put the bacon down. It's pretty easy. I go every other. I don't know why I do it. It's just how I do it. You find the way that works best for you. It's not a complicated process at all. I'm going to go every other. Usually about six pieces across is what works for this size tenderloin. six and then from the bacon wheel we move the tenderloin out of the way when we're doing the bacon weave it's pretty simple we're going to pull this piece down pull this piece down pull this piece down so we see three we got three down three across and all we're going to do is put this like so and then we're going to start our weave and hopefully you get a pretty good look at that again this is not a complicated process so it's all we pull those three so now I'm gonna pull these three down This is, uh, again, it's a pretty simple process. But you're going to go back and forth until you form your weave. That way, when you wrap your tenderloin, it's even. And it just, I don't know, cooks better. Like so. And yes, you can go bigger if you like. But this is just work best. What works best for me here a couple more pieces of bacon and the weave is going to be complete one two three and then one last deal and we'll put the last piece i got some bacon left you're wondering what i'm gonna do with it i've got another tenderloin to wrap so that's what we're gonna do with it. so now we've got the weave so if you want to kind of zoom in on there come up on this that's the weave and from the weave what we're going to do is pretty simple we're going to season it and with this seasoning, I'm using a Cosmos Honey Chipotle Killer B. You can use whatever you like. When I'm doing pork, I like to use sweet. Um, and I like the heat from the Chipotle. So that right there is my go-to rub whenever I'm making this. 
And then I like to add a little honey. Now, you can use whatever honey you like. I happen to be using Blanton's Barrel Aged Pure Honey. Um, I don't know, I can taste the difference when I'm using it. Uh, but again, just putting the honey right through there. Now, on the inside of this tenderloin, as it's smoking, it's gonna have this nice rub, and it's gonna have this honey flavor. So from here, I'm gonna put the tenderloin down, and I'm just gonna wrap towards me. You decide what works best for you, but I like to wrap towards me. Wrap, I'm trying to keep it as tight as I can, but again, it's not the end of the world. I'm gonna wrap all the way through. We got it wrapped. And then after that, yes, you guessed it, we're gonna season it again. We're not gonna season it too heavy. The bacon's gonna have great flavor. The honey's gonna have great flavor. And we're, we're smoking with Blue's Hob Lump Charcoal and we're using a little cherry wood uh, to finish this off. But we're gonna get this seasoned up like so. Place it on our cutting board. Give that a couple minutes. Fire should be ready. We'll take it out there. It's gonna have the temperature at about 250, 260 degrees. We'll put it on a smoker and go from there. We'll see you in a minute, guys. Thanks. All right, guys, now the fun part. We got the smoker right where we want the temperature to be. Again, we're using Blue's Hog Lump Charcoal with some cherry wood. We're gonna put these on. Let them sit right on there, and we're gonna leave them alone for the next probably 40 minutes before we come out and turn them, but get a good, good smoke bath, get them right to temp, and we'll see you guys here in a bit, thanks. All right, guys, so we're right at an hour and 40 minutes into our cook. And the temp I'm looking for as I pull them is right at 140. I'm going to let them rest for about 10 minutes inside. They'll go to just shy of 150. So if you want to come closer, you just kind of see what we did. I've turned them three times. Yeah, already at 141, so they're ready to go. Turned them three times. Smoked them with cherry wood, blue hot bunk charcoal. We're going to get these pulled inside. Let them rest, you'll be able to cut in them. See you in a minute, guys. All right, guys, we've made the journey back inside, and all we're going to do right now is we're going to take these out of the pan, and we're going to let them rest. I don't know, probably 10 minutes. This is a good rule of thumb whenever I do them. These aren't super big. We're going to loosely tent them. You don't want to wrap them or anything like that. But we're going to tent these, give them about 10 minutes, we'll come back, slice into them, and have a great meal. Thanks for watching. All right, so we've let it rest 10 minutes now. Now the fun part. I'm going to untent this, and we're going to slice in and see how we did. And just to recap what we did, had a couple tenderloins, took the tenderloins, trimmed the tenderloins. After we trimmed the tenderloins, we made ourselves a bacon weave. We seasoned the bacon weave with Honey Chipotle Killer Bee from Cosmos and Blanton's Barrel Aged Honey, bourbon barrel. Put that on the inside of the bacon weave, put the tenderloin in, wrapped it real tight, seasoned it again, got our fire going right to 260 degrees. We used Blue's Hog, lump charcoal with some cherry wood. Took it out there, put it on the smoker, turned it three times in roughly about an hour and 40 minutes, brought it to temp at 140 degrees, brought it inside, let it rest for 10 minutes, and now we're gonna slice into it and see how we did. Come in a little bit closer if you like, and I wanna take a look. I'd say that looks pretty doggone good. I've always found it appropriate to have someone do a taste tester. So I've got a member of my team from Hess Hogs 4. This is Emma. She's my oldest daughter and she's hog one, if you will. And Emma, if you wouldn't mind for everybody, if you wouldn't mind trying just a, a piece of this bacon wrapped smoked pork tenderloin and let me have a piece and tell them what you think, sweetie. Okay. Well, what do you think? Good. What is the flavor? Good. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.